If you guys are looking for super cheap, fast, and reliable Madden 22 Ultimate Team coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They're super awesome to work with, and they have 24-7 support. Head over to MuttReserve.com and use code POODLE at checkout for 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be opening up my free NAT Rick Premier Fantasy Pack, as well as going over the best free Rick Premier to take. I'll be ranking them and kind of going over the three or four that I think are the only ones you really want. I think beyond that, they're just optional. I'll tell you, like, the meta ones that you actually do want and rank them for you guys. But yesterday, they did release Rick Premiers a little bit early. It was supposed to be today on the 20th, but it came out yesterday around, like, mid-afternoon, midday. So a lot of you guys may have gotten your tokens already. Then there was some issues with the sets not working. It was a whole mess. But luckily, guys, we got our pack. I have I actually ended up buying one yesterday for a decent amount of coins because I did want this other one that I didn't have enough tokens for. But before we get into the video, guys, give this video a big thumbs up as always. Subscribe to the channel. Comment down below which premiere you did end up taking. And shout out to today's Poodle Squad member, AO underscore crash. Shout out to you, man, for being part of the Poodle Squad. Thanks so much for showing support each and every day. Now, if you guys need coins, head over to my reserve down below and use code Poodle at checkout for 15% off your order. Take advantage, guys. You need some of these Rick Premiers. You're going to need the Superstar VPs today as well, or yesterday, depending on when you see this video. So make sure you do go ahead and do that. Now, moving on. So yesterday, guys, Rick Premiers did drop. Now, remember, if you don't, if you didn't get a free one for whatever reason, or you didn't get, or you didn't get your other stuff, make sure you do go ahead and go check how much they go for. Now, personally, guys, if you're wondering how I get the free one, you get the free one from reaching level 10. That's how you get that one. Then there's the ones you get with your tokens from last year. So that's kind of a mix of how you get everything. And as you can see, they did go up in price quite a bit. So I did actually buy one yesterday because I knew they wouldn't be that cheap. So like Kyle Pitts goes for almost 200k right here. That's kind of crazy. And then Jamar Chase, who may be the best one of them all, goes for 196. So overall, guys, you're going to have to be spending a pretty decent amount of coins if you do want to go ahead and pick up any of these Rick Premiers. Now, I did get Jamar Chase yesterday. I bought him off the block and i went ahead and paid about 145 for him which i thought was a pretty good price considering he goes for almost 200k now so i actually could make a profit on him but i do plan to keep him guys you really can't go wrong with the jamar chase right now he's the fastest card pretty much in the game 91 speed 83 deep route running 92 jumping six feet tall 90 excel you know everything else isn't really too great 88 change of direction but he's his straight line speed just kind of it's pretty dominant right now and of course so is kyle pitts and everything but Quick advice, when you're taking your nat one, make sure you take one that's going to last in your team the longest. Now, I'll get into that in just a second. So, I'm going to start off with ranking them, and then I'll go ahead and actually make my pick. So, in terms of, I think there's about four right now that you really want to go with. Now, personally, here's the thing. I would personally only take really three, but I'm going to go with four here because I do understand that some people, you know, may have gotten all five, all ten of their tokens. So, I'll tell you the bottom, I'll tell you like the bottom one. So, at number four... The thing here is, oh, I'll give you a fifth too, actually, in case you have all five. At around five, I would say you probably want to take Trevor Lawrence, just because he's going to be one of the better quarterbacks in the game to start right now. Again, I typically would have put Micah Parsons here, but the reason I didn't put Micah Parsons here is because Micah Parsons is a linebacker, and they I, they really don't animate again. So Trevor Lawrence, just like a little selective pick. If you need a quarterback, he's really good. Everything you really want him to do here. Very well-rounded. Now, again, that's just like my fifth pick. Again, I personally probably wouldn't take Trevor Lawrence, but he is he is really good. It's just I don't like the prospect of having a gnat and being stuck with an 86 overall quarterback. Um, number four, this guy is he's good because of the speed. You know, JC Horn's gonna be able to be he's six foot one with 89 speed, 89 excel. But his zone and man pretty much doesn't help you, and neither does his press his neck rate either. He's gonna be a very low, high eight, low 80, high 70 S cornerback. Just a crazy speed, which you pretty much can get through like a JC Jackson. Or a uh, Fabian Mora through uh, the football team, team affinity play, the team builder. So you can kind of go ahead and get that stuff regardless. But again, if you got off, if you got, if you're getting five free ones, I'd recommend you probably go ahead and take them at your fourth. Now let me get into let me get into the big boys. These are the top three I actually think you need. These are three cards that I think you absolutely need, and you really can't disregard them at all. Number three is Trevon Morig for the uh, the Raiders. Safety, he's insane. 90 speed, 90 excel. 86 hit power, 81 man, 81 zone, 84 pursuit, 81 play rock. Six foot one. He's super tall. <clears throat> He's the fastest user in the game, or at least tied for it after power ups and everything. And of course, he has good hit power. So as a user, he has everything you want height, speed, excel, hit power, and pursuit. And of course, you leave him alone. Play man and zone as well. So don't think you have to use him. He still could be a very, very solid you know, in open space. Just leave him alone. Let, it, let him sit in his island. He's a really good card. 86 change of direction as well is super important. 
I really like this card. The block's only 68. If you put the right strategy card, though, you could maybe get him to like a 70 block shot, which is actually pretty good. But he's, he's really, really good. One of the best safeties, if not the best safety in the game right now. And then, guys, at number two. So here's the thing. I actually, in my personal rankings, I think Jamar Chase is number two. People might disagree with that. Here's my thinking. He may be the fastest guy in the game, but A, he cannot be powered up. And he's only the fastest guy in the game by one speed. Remember, Tyreek is 90 powered up. And if you put the right uh, card on them or cornerbacks, you know, they get him up even more. But Jamar and Tyreek are one speed difference. In this next gen slower Madden, that won't feel as crazy as you think. It's going to feel very similar. Second, Tyreek's a better route runner. Third, more wide receivers will be coming out soon that have closer speed, like an 89-90, with probably mid-high 80 route running. He has no juke. He has no he has no side to side game, no horizontal. It's all gonna be vertical, north and south the whole time. Streaks, deep post. If you're lucky and he gets off, maybe a drag. But a good corner is gonna stay with him minus the speed, right? But he's good. He's 91 speed. He's a rookie premier. He's an 86 over. He's a good card. I, you have to have him right now, pretty much, just to compete with that speed right now. But I don't think compared to the next best wide receiver, it's like this. It's Tyreek and Jamar. It's not like game breaking like this right now on another note the number one guy on my list is going to be kyle pitts now it's very simple currently i don't count kittle yet because kittle is very impossible to get only a few people probably in the world have him right now unless you bought it or you grinded you know 48 to 50 hours 60 hours straight and now people have done that yet so either, either you had to like, grind it crazy or bought it and not, not neither of that community is that big right now so even though right this is kyle pitts and this is george kittle George Kittle may be better catching and route running wise, but Kyle Pitts is still pretty fast. So it's like this though, kind of similar to Tyreek and them, but you can't just go buy Kittle. So right now the next best available tight end that you can pretty much buy is probably like powered up Darren Waller. Or maybe budget Kyle Pitts, the base gold. So that's the difference. This is the difference in speed between Waller and that Pitts. It's like this. And the thing is the next, the only cards that can compete with this Pitts speed would be an upgraded Waller, upgraded Engram, or upgraded uh, Kittle. We have an upgraded Kittle. He's still not there speed-wise. An upgraded Waller at an 83 speed would probably only get like an 85, 86, which would still put him below at the next card. And we might not see a Waller for a while. I can only see us getting a Team of the Week Waller, which I doubt we get right away. Or we just get a Promo Waller, which we have some time for that. Or an Evan Engram, but he's on my Giants, and I know he's ass at times, so I don't expect him either. So I think Kyle Pitts is beyond even the next level of tight ends. Like, he's the best tight end in his tier right now, the beginning tier. And I think he actually could even be the best tight end because he has the route running, the short running, the spec, and the speed. I think he can even be faster and better than the next wave of tight end. So I think he's going to be above replacement level for a pretty decent time. I think it's even better. When that second or third wave of tight ends come in and they finally tie him in speed or surpass him, you can run two tight ends, single backs, bunch. You know, there's a lot of places where you could actually run two tight ends. So you can still use him. He's going to be good for a while. Now let's get into our packs. So guys, like I said, I did get Jamar Chase yesterday uh, during the whole market crash with, uh, you know, the the rookie premier market crash now i'm gonna open up my 86 overall nat rookie premier fantasy pack let's make our pick here like i said i think it's a pretty obvious selection now people do like Najee harris the reason i'm not big on Najee harris is for a few reasons first off he can't be powered up and only has an 87 speed my saquon barkley has an 87 speed off the rip and saquon has a, a you know an 89 overall uh, super number p card coming today so i really don't see the need to go Najee harris when he's already not going to be the best back in the game when Kyle Pitts will be, right? That's kind of my opinion on it. So I'm going to be taking Kyle Pitts in this selection. Where is he? Give me Kyle Pitts. Give me the give me the beast at tight end. I'm a big fan of this Kyle Pitts card, honestly. Promote to starter. Also, I don't know if I mentioned this. He's also six foot six. So he's all he's like he's like Waller. He's like a faster Waller, but he has that height too, which is just absolutely absurd. But yeah, that's about it for the video. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy the, uh, the video. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn that Odie bell. Give this video a big thumbs up as always. Hopefully, that Pitts and that Jamar. Help us out with head-to-head -head games. I mean, so far we've won. We haven't lost a head-to-head -head game yet, but I can. But they haven't been easy, right? Hawkinson has head end has kind of sucked, and same thing with my Stephon Diggs slash Keenan Allen wide receiver combo. Hopefully those two can make a big difference. I'll probably test them out pretty shortly after this video. But thanks so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. If you need coins, head over to Mutt Reserve down below. Use code Poodle at checkout. Subscribe, and that's it, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I'm out. Peace.